Hello guys, how are you? I want to show you guys how to combine multiple texture sets into one single image. So to start, we are going to go to edit, I mean file, export textures, Control shift E is the shortcut. So here we're going to go to output templates. And here I'm going to pick up the Unreal Engine 4 packed version and just duplicate it. Okay? To make a quick example for you guys. So here basically we are going to redo all these different four maps from scratch and we are going to add an alpha channel. This will allow us to combine these images easily in Photoshop. So basically uh, let's start with the first one, the base color, okay? So we have an RGB alpha. So RGB plus alpha. Here, we're gonna paste the name and this is going to be the base color. So we get the base color from here into the RGB channels. We have the same color, perfect. Then we're gonna get the alpha channel from the opacity. We're gonna drag the opacity here and we are going to select the alpha channel, all right? So let's do the occlusion roughness metallic map. So basically we have an RGB separated with alpha, which is this option. So we're gonna copy the name and we're gonna get the roughness, which is here gray channel uh i mean sorry the the roughness is the green channel um so let's let me fix that mixed ambient occlusion you get this mixed ambient occlusion here perfect now we have the same color for the roughness which is going to be the green channel we get the roughness here gray channel then we got the metallic in blue which is here gray channel okay and then we have the alpha that comes from the opacity alpha channel perfect so now we're gonna do the normal okay the normal it's an rgb plus alpha okay let's copy that name right there okay so rgb is going to be uh the normal rgb is gonna normal di it's gonna be normal direct X RGB. So here's the normal direct X, we add it here. And then the alpha comes from the opacity, alpha channel. Then we're gonna copy and do the emissive one in case you're using emissive materials. This is RGB, so we're gonna choose RGB plus alpha. Copy the name, then get the emissive map, RGB and get the opacity gray channel sorry opacity alpha channel okay once we have those maps we can delete these original four ones and leave the ones we just created another thing uh let's just jo double double check the original uh, configuration it says eight bits plus the 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 um so let me just add that up right here in the normal one okay perfect so this is is going to be a uh, how you do it perfect now let's go to the next part okay inside your your object you want to add an opacity layer to it it's, this is very important so basically you go inside your texture set list and for each texture set you're going to go into texture set settings and very importantly here let me just take it off quickly and here you're gonna go on unsupported by shader and here you're gonna look for opacity okay now once you have the opacity i usually set it to srgb8 
I don't really know if this makes a difference or not, but it worked very nice for me in sRGB8. Um, and you do that for all your texture sets. Now on the layers, let me get this one off, which is the opacity one. And let me show you how to do it. You go to fill layer and you deselect all this you just leave the opacity and you leave it in white okay that means that i can come here and, s and look for opacity and that's how all your texture sets should look like to get a proper texture uh, export okay perfect once we have all this set up ready to go we are just going to go here and we are going to go into shift control e we're going to pick up the template we just created and very important settings right here you need to put the the dilatation dilatation plus transparent okay and i usually use uh, three pixels for the dilatation Okay, so after you do that you simply go and export these textures into a output file out, output directory that you know where it is okay perfect now we are going to go into Photoshop. So you go into Photoshop and you open the texture file where you exported your textures. You see, they all come nicely uh, without a background. That means we can merge them very easily. So basically you open the first one which is going to be base base color, right? Perfect. Let me just name this very quickly. Base color. So I don't get confused when exporting the rest. So let me just go here. Find find the export folder very quickly okay and export the rest and put them in top of it don't move anything uh, this is perfectly aligned on top just hold enter and let everything import it's gonna take a little bit great this is how it's supposed to look like okay so here are here are our textures so how do we deal with this okay so basically here you go and select all your occlusion roughness metallic textures by control left click you need to be very careful to select only the occlusion roughness metallic control e and you basically merge them then you go into the normal one double check and control e and then you get all your base color control e and you end up with these beautiful textures which are ready to go after you do that you basically go Control alt s and you save them as base color perfect then you save your normal map Then you save your Occlusion Roughness Metallic, ORM map. Okay.
perfect. Now inside Unreal Engine you can check if your textures worked. Okay, so here is my object and now I just want to re import these textures. Beautiful. Always check the edges if to see if you have any to see if you have any artifacts. I think it came out very nicely. Okay, let me move this back to zero where I have be better light. Okay, I think these textures came out very nice. And that's how you merge different texture sets using Substance Painter and Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching, guys.